welcome to money hangout uh, this is our uh, weekly session in which we help you learn and understand savings and investment issues and uh, better appreciate mutual funds this is brought to you by value research and bidla kanlaik mutual fund uh, today the first hangout session in 2017 i thought of sharing something with you the resolutions which you must pass uh, which you must resolve to uh, to follow uh, this will come in very handy these are things you know and i, I will try and this uh, try and this a very brief set of guidelines which we all should follow this is something which is uh, which i'm deriving from my own experiences the learnings that i have over the last 15 20 years ever since i started working i was uh, inclined to say but uh, uh, it didn't come in uh, you know i had my own set of learning uh, there were very basic mistake which i was doing and i never uh, for a long time i did not understand that it was a mistake that was just a natural way of you know uh, conducting myself financially so uh, first and foremost you know what comes to my mind is uh, don't carry the credit card debt clear it off uh, because uh, this is the most expensive debt possible and uh, this brings in a great deal of indiscipline the mo the moment you start appreciating it you'll uh, you'll understand that uh, uh, and no other investment in future will be able to generate this kind of return consistently so it is very important that you look at credit card debt only as an emergency uh, never look at it as a credit uh, and, didn't you didn't you made a point about it being helpful in times of emergency can you help our viewers understand how they can very efficiently use credit cards use credit card as a convenience demonetization happens you you should be you should if you had to buy all the essential things or you you know you are in a emergency you end up in a crisis and you have to rush to the hospital by all means use your credit card but don't use the credit card to buy that expensive shoe which you have just you know landed in a mall looked at it getting tempted to buy it and then you, and you don't have the money you don't have the necessary uh, uh, finances to support that purchase so resist that temptation don't use use it as a easily available credit and you go on spending spree okay so what are so, your you know what yeah. <clears throat> then so you know resisting impulsive spend spending is crucial and don't use credit card as an avenue to help you spend more it will it will be very taxing uh then you know the biggest uh, thing which i find that most investors suffer investors worry about that what they bought what they sold and it was not profitable it was not but i think most of investors miss a big opportunity by delaying their investment stop waiting if you are thinking about which is the best investment stop thinking uh, get started with a balanced fund get started with your tax saving fund if you are going to be a tax payer get started now because the cost of delay is huge if you don't invest for next 3 4 years the power of compounding will not work to your advantage so getting started now even with a not so perfect investment but being methodical about it is crucial uh in this you know a lot of investors get uh, you know uh, are uh, it is quite a irrit irritant that you you get a lot of excuse you know you will have a lot of noise in the marketplace uh it gets uh, investors are unable to you know decide on how should they start now should they wait for this crisis to get over uh, it doesn't help one must get started as soon as possible ignore the noise uh they didn't talking about noise if we particularly look at an year like 2016 where there were so many upheavals in the market and if we reflect back markets did react sharply to all those uh you know so called noises uh, that happened in the market uh, what's your view on that what can investors do they do see uh, the sensex rising and falling sharply and uh, of course it's it's a matter of concern to them yes uh on a on a day to day basis it looks like one of the biggest thing that is happening to our life but it is immaterial when you look at it from, from a 5 year 10 year perspective it doesn't matter if you are going to invest for next like 30 years this is going to be one of the installments of those you know in 30 years you will be making a monthly contribution to your retirement accumulation uh, it will be one of those investment it doesn't matter and there won't be ever a stage in the life of the market where things will be stable 
there will always be noise. There was always a Brexit. There was always a change of government. There was always, you know, something or the other. We will have, you know, future crisis as well. People will now be guessing about the budget, the election, the state elections, and then whether the GST bill will be passed, whether Mr. Trump is going to do something which will badly hurt our, you know, technology based businesses in India. So there will be all these kind of crises, but you know, you have to deal with it in a different way. You should stick to your plan and you should be investing in a manner which will be able to overcome this. The fact that you'll be investing regularly, you'll be able to put this market noise to your advantage by being regular. You'll, you know, all these crises, if somebody was, you know, if somebody invested post demonetization, a couple of installments, you know, two, two uh, SIP contributions, I think, you know, when you look back, you know, uh, when you look back at your five year, 10 year investment, uh, you know, accumulation, uh, you will find that all these things actually turn out to be more advantageous for you. So these create opportunity, rather capitalize on it, stick to your plan, stay on course, deal with all these things in a different way. You must be diversified and you should be investing regularly and you should be allocating only your money which you don't need for a couple of years. These are only three things which you should be following all time, at all times. Uh, to overcome these kind of anxiety. Then comes, you know, I think a new year is a good time to take stock of all that you have in our investment, you know, in our investment course or, you know, the, the way we start saving, investing. We accumulate a lot of things. Take a stock of everything that you have. Make a list of your provident fund contributions. Keep a tidy, uh, you know, ledger of all the things that you have. And uh, just check out that what you, what all you have accumulated which you don't need. The ones which you don't need, you should get rid of it methodically and be at it because the only way to optimize or maximize return is to be methodical about things. The money which you don't need for a couple of years and somehow you have accumulated something in the past, you should work towards cleaning them, getting rid of it, realize the money and invest it more productively and in a more deliberate way. Uh, then comes, you know, <clears throat> after getting rid of the unnecessary, it's important that investors follow the basic rules that don't mix your investment and insurance. When it comes, insurance is a very important uh, uh, instrument. You must buy insurance if you have financial dependence. You must not buy any insurance if you do not have any financial dependence. And uh, but the way insurance is bought and sold in this, uh, in fact, mostly sold, never generally never bought is that we end up accumulating, you know, we start making long-term commitments of paying premiums in something which we don't understand. So first try and understand, get rid of them. And if at all you have financial dependence, buy the pure term insurance. These, these are insurance which where your family or your dependents get substantial, uh, you know, uh, realization or, you know, substantial coverage by paying a low premium. And you don't have to, and you don't get anything back. And that is a catch. Most investors get trapped into insurance linked investment because they think that they need to get something for what they're paying for if they, if they, if they uh, are alive. So uh, you need to really look at it as a buying protection for your family. Nothing beyond that. Uh, talking about insurance, Thirin, uh, since these are typically very long term contracts, and as you just advised our viewers to get rid of things that they don't need, which don't deserve a place in their overall financial plans. Now, doing that, that cleaning up bit with insurance policies could be costly since uh, the exit options uh, come with a cost. Yeah. Uh, so looking at it in that context, would you still advise them to go ahead and book those losses and get rid of them? Yeah, absolutely. The first step to that will be, you know, most of us when we get our when, uh, insurance policy, which is, you know, either an endowment plan or a unit link plan sold to us. We get the policy document and we keep it in our locker. Take the envelope out, read the document, understand how you can get rid of it and get rid of it methodically. Many a times the surrender charges become very low if you have held it for five years or so. Uh, and uh, nowadays, if, if it is actually a relatively new ULIP policy, then uh, even those charges can be recovered, you know, all, all, all the contribution. Earlier it used to get forfeited if you discontinue your plan after one year or so. Uh, but today it is, uh, they can't forfeit it, but you get, you are likely to get your money back after within, after five years. So <clears throat> read the policy document, understand how to exit it, 
don't exit in a rush do some waiting you know sometimes the waiting could be three months six months or one year so that the policy becomes old enough so that your uh, redemption charges are very low your your surrender charges are very low and uh, but be at it it is a very unproductive investment which yields very low return and it doesn't doesn't even get you meaningful insurance all right so that's about it if you follow these five seven uh, rules at all times that you will not have the credit card loan you will have your you will get started with your investments immediately you will take stock all that you have you will never mix insurance and investment i think you will be on to a great financial future so wish you wishing you very best of 2000 in 2017 and hope that you follow these rules